Oh my god, it showed up today. Oh, so stoked. Oh, there it is in all of its beauty. What's up you guys? Welcome to our YouTube channel yet again. Just want to say thank you for watching. We've been working hard to try and bring you guys some cool content, but I figured this week I would take a few minutes to kind of introduce myself officially for our YouTube channel because we haven't been formally introduced. My name is Kyle Mudge. I am a musician, a plumber, content creator, just an all around everyday normal guy. Also known as Mudge, you can find my music on pretty much any major platform you want to check out. Apple Music iTunes, Spotify, even YouTube has some of our stuff. I thought I would take a minute to talk about my albums too. For any of you guys that are interested, this is a music channel. A lot of what we're trying to create is musical content as well as just vlogging of our everyday lives which is what you guys are seeing here. So I started off as a musician when I was 12 years old. I started playing guitar. This year it'll be 20 years that I've been playing guitar. Not well granted <laughs> until probably within the last 10 years. I've five completed albums. I'm working on my sixth and seventh now, one of which being the City Life Project's new album with Isha, which is effectively old songs that we made ten years ago. So to bring that into perspective, Isha and I met each other on Vancouver Island when I moved out here at 21 years old. 20 years old, I had my 21st birthday on the island. We met at Ricky's, I was a dishwasher and he was a line cook at the time, and I brought in my guitar one day over lunch break and he noticed me playing there so our friendship all stemmed from that we subsequently started the city life project with our good friend Sam Karchuk we wrote 20 original songs in a year eventually it just kind of petered out we're moving in different directions musically but we always regretted not recording that music now we're going to be doing that we're building our own studio and getting all of that stuff together so that we can finally put out some of those songs for your listening pleasure following city life's departure I joined a band called set and Stoned, which two of my really good friends, Cody and Jordan, which I'm sure will eventually be on our channel. You should check them out on Facebook. You can find them at Set and Stoned on Facebook. I joined them. I was with them for about a year. That was kind of a hard rock, stoner rock kind of deal. Once that kind of petered out for me, I moved on and formed my own project with Silent Army where I decided to be a front man. When that one kind of petered out, I had another band called Trenchfinger and Trenchfinger was sort of an alternative hard rock kind of metal grunge thing. Um, you can also find us on Spotify if you just look up Trenchfinger. Following Trenchfinger's departure, I decided to kind of go solo because I wanted to make the music I wanted to make without any real compromise, which has been fantastic, although I do sometimes miss having the group aspect of it, you know, the camaraderie that comes with having a band, but at the same time, a lot of the drama that comes with a band I don't have to deal with anymore. So my new music is kind of a collage of many different types of music, many different ranges. So I play anything from hard rock, some of my songs kind of are grungy, some of my songs are sort of pop music, some of them are just light rock. It has kind of a range. I even have some country twang blues kind of sounding stuff. So you can check out my current music if you look up Mudge on Spotify and iTunes, you can find it there. You can check me out on YouTube. And if you keep following the City Life Project, you can watch my time in the studio while I'm recording this next album with my good friend Austin at Echo 7 Studios here in Nanaimo. So go and check all that stuff out. I'd love to hear your thoughts on my music. And thank you so very much for taking the time to watch our YouTube. There will be new stuff out every week. Every Friday we're dropping stuff. And every once in a while we'll be having Wednesday podcasts 
we'll be having other music videos posted and all sorts of stuff so great content on the way and thanks for checking it out May not be 7th Ave, but it's pretty damn good. But he almost drove Dylan off the road. I'm telling you man, people know what we're doing and they don't want us to find some things out. <laughs> They're trying to run us off the road, uh, that's all I'm saying. They don't want us to find producer team. To keep your touch, keep your touch in my memory. I try not to regret it. What could have been, should have been, if you would stay with me. Y'all just walked on the lawn. When you leave, don't forget to remember. Don't forget to remember. Now that sign says two burly men, but folks, we're just looking for one producer team. I gotta get zoom in on it. <laughs> you gotta ask a couple crackheads if they see I know. Team. Okay, yeah, just like do it like this. Yeah. Alright, so we're at the waterfront downtown Nanaimo. To the washrooms here. Isha, he's a, he's a big fan of those washrooms, isn't he? <laughs> He hits him up like three or four times when we come in and hang out. Even when it's not snowing. No. No snow. But it may be. It may be still. Possibly some snow. Some white sails. <sighs> not not this white sail. We're almost there! Oh, well, you're driving? I want to pick me up and take me to Old City! Some drunk bitches. Alright, we're at the Globe. There it is in Old Glory. Let's see Producer T's car. No sound of tea. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Downtown! We got fire chips here. The guy likes downtown and I mean, that's why we're here. His best friend we actually saw on this bench coming up too. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. We talked to the guy. He didn't give up any information, unfortunately. I mean, he probably didn't know who we are. And I don't even know if he knows that he has the nickname Producer Team. So, there you go. There you have it. One other hot spot that we're coming up close to here is the uh, Nanaimo Casino, home to the scum. Folks, nothing good has ever happened in a casino. Especially this casino. This casino is fucked. This casino is pretty fucked up. Bar Burrito, not a bad establishment. It's actually pretty good. Downtown Nanaimo, looking for producer T. All right, guys, only got 69 kilometers left. Although that's really nice. I think that might uh, spell the end of this trip tonight. Oh shit, it's a party. Looking good, boys. It's just a normal night. Huh? He was drunk. Oh shit, man, look at that shit. Holy fuck, boys. <laughs> 